This special series is provided to the public by Amun Ra University. It is read and voiced by Shakim Ra. Secrets from the Tombs The Pyramid of Unas Unas, also spelled Unas, Wanes, was a pharaoh, the ninth and last ruler of the fifth dynasty of ancient Kemet during the Old Kingdom. Unas reigned for 15 to 30 years in the mid 24th century BC. Circa 2345 to 2315 BC, succeeding Jed Kare Assesi, who might have been his father. Little is known of Una's activities during his reign which was a time of economic decline. Egypt maintained trade relations with the Levantine coast and Nubia and military action may have taken place in southern Canaan. The growth and decentralization of the administration in conjunction with the lessening of the king's power continued under Unas, ultimately contributing to the collapse of the old kingdom some 200 years later. Unas built a pyramid in Saqqara, the smallest of the royal pyramids completed during the Old Kingdom. The accompanying mortuary complex with its high and valley temples linked by a 750 meter long causeway was lavishly decorated with painted reliefs whose quality and variety surpass the usual royal iconography. Furthermore, Unas was the first pharaoh to have the pyramid text carved and painted on the walls of the chambers of his pyramid, a major innovation that was followed by his successors until the first intermediate period, 2160 to 2050 BC. These texts identify the king with Ra and Osir, whose cult was on the rise in Una's time and were meant to help the king reach the afterlife. Unas had several daughters and possibly one or two sons, who are believed to have predeceased him. Manetho, a 3rd century BC Egyptian priest of the Ptolemaic Kingdom and author of the first history of Kemet, claims that with Unas' death, the fifth dynasty came to an end. Unas was succeeded by Teti, the first pharaoh of the sixth dynasty of ancient Kemet, possibly after a short crisis. However, the archaeological evidence suggests that the Egyptians at the time made no conscious break with the preceding dynasty and the distinction between the fifth and sixth dynasties might be illusory. The funerary cult of Unas established at his death continued until the end of the Old Kingdom and may have survived during the chaotic First Intermediate Period. The cult was still in existence or revived during the later Middle Kingdom circa 2050 to 1650 BC. This did not prevent Amenemhat I and Senaraseret I from partially dismantling the mortuary complex of Unas for its materials. In parallel to the official cult, Unas may have received popular veneration as a local god of Saqqara until as late as the late period, 664 to 332 BC, nearly 2,000 years after his death. Unas is well attested by historical sources with three ancient Egyptian king lists dating to the New Kingdom period mentioning him. He occupies the 33rd entry of the Abydos King's list 
which was written during the reign of Seti I, 1290 to 1279 BC. Una's name is also present on the Saqqara tablet as the 32nd entry and on the Turin Canon, third column, 25th row, both of which were written during the reign of Ramesses II, 1279 to 1213 BC. The Turin Canon further credits Unas with 30 years of reign. These sources all place Unas as the ninth and final ruler of the fifth dynasty succeeding Jedkare Assesi and preceding Teti I on the throne. This relative chronology is corroborated by archaeological evidence, for example, in the tomb of officials serving under these kings. The original comedic name in Medunetra for the pyramid was Nefer is Sut Unas, meaning beautiful are the places of Unas. The pyramid of Unas is part of a larger mortuary complex built around it. It was approached via an ancient lake on the shores of which Unas Valley Temple was located. At the end of the causeway, was a large hall leading to a pillared open court surrounded by magazine chambers. This court led into the mortuary temple proper, which housed statues of the king and where the offerings to the deceased took place. This was immediately adjacent to the eastern side of the pyramid, which was surrounded by an enclosure wall defining the sacred space. At the southeast corner of the enclosure was a small satellite pyramid for the Ka of the king. The internal chambers of the pyramid were entered in 1881 by Gaston Maspero, who thus discovered the pyramid text. The main innovation of the Pyramid of Unaz is the first appearance of the pyramid text, one, if not the oldest surviving, religious text in the world. The religious texts of ancient Kemet have survived to this day. In doing so, Unas initiated a tradition that will be followed in the Pyramid of the Kings and Queens of the 6th to 8th Dynasties until the end of the Old Kingdom, circa 200 years later. The profile of a pyramid and its causeway also reveals the morphology of phage lambda, which has an icosahedral head enclosed in a spear. The Egyptian pyramid with its triangular faces is similar to a phage capsid or head, and the causeway from the pyramid to the valley temple completes the comparison by depicting the phage tail. The essence of the deceased king resided within the pyramid so that it endured forever. Pyramid Text 600 In our model for verification, the essence of the deified king indicates the union of the sun god and deceased or the insertion of final human elements into the phage DNA capsid that is, the pyramid head. When a bacterial phage attaches to a host cell, its DNA is pumped out of the head, down the tail, and into the cell. 
The Pyramid of Unas, the Great Pyramid and others were constructed with pyramidal head structure and causeway tails that are similar to phage morphology. Similarly, the Theban Recension Chapter 140 refers to Atum as the sunshine god rising in the sky. The Mighty One appears, the horizon shines, Atum appears on the smell of his sensing. The sunshine god has risen in the sky. The mansion of the Pyramidion is in joy, and all its inmates are assembled. This passage equates the sun god Ra Atum with the geometric shape of a pyramid, which is similar to Phage Lambda morphology. Further, the deceased states, I am he of the Pyramidian. Coffin Text 422. Both Geb, the Earth, and Atum grant that a pyramid and temple be installed and enclosed for the deceased and his double. Pyramid Text 534. Utterance 217 from the Unas Pyramid Text. Sarcophagus Chamber, South Wall. The King joins the Sun God. Ra Atum, this Unas comes to you, a spirit indestructible, who lays claim to the places of the four pillars. Your son comes to you, this Unas comes to you. May you cross the sky, united in the dark. May you rise in light land, the place in which you shine. Seth, Nebahet, go, proclaim to Upper Kemet's gods and their spirits. This Unaz comes, a spirit indestructible. If he wishes you to die, you will die. If he wishes you to live, you will live. Ra'atum, this Unaz comes to you, a spirit indestructible. Who lays claim to the place of the four pillars? Your son comes to you, this Unaj comes to you. May you cross the sky, united in the dark. May you rise in light land, the place in which you shine. Aser, Aset, go proclaim to lower Egypt's gods and their spirits. This Unaj comes a spirit, indestructible, like the morning star above happy, whom the water spirits worship, whom he wishes to live will live, whom he wishes to die will die. Ra, our tomb, this Unaz comes to you, a spirit indestructible, who lays claim to the place of the four pillars. Your son comes to you, this Unaz comes to you, May you cross the sky, united in the dark. May you rise in Lightland, the place in which you shine. Tehuti, go proclaim to the gods of the West and their spirits. This Unaz comes, a spirit indestructible, decked above the neck as Anpu. Lord of the Western Height, he will count hearts, he will claim hearts. Whom he wishes to live will live. Whom he wishes to die will die. Ra Atum, this Unaz comes to you, a spirit indestructible, who lays claim to the place of the four pillars. Your son comes to you, this Unaz comes to you. 
May you cross the sky, united in the dark. May you rise in Lightland, the place in which you shine. Heru, go, proclaim to the powers of the East and their spirits. This Unas comes, a spirit indestructible, whom he wishes to live will live. Whom he wishes to die will die. Ra Atum, your son, comes to you. Unas comes to you. Raise him to you. Hold him in your arms. He is your son of your body forever. Utterance 239, Sarcophagus Chamber, West Gabel. The Triumph of the White Crown. White Crown goes forth. She has swallowed the great. White Crown's tongue swallowed the great. Tongue was not seen. Utterance 245, Passage to the Sarcophagus Chamber, South Wall. The King joins the stars. This Unaz comes to you, O Newt. This Unaz comes to you, O Newt. He has consigned his father to the earth. He has left Heru behind him. Grown are his falcon wings, plumes of the holy hawk. His power has brought him. His magic has equipped him. The sky goddess Newt replies, Make your seat in heaven, among the stars of heaven, for you are the lone star, the comrade of who? You shall look down on Osiris as he commands the spirits. While you stand far from him, you are not among them, you shall not be among them. Utterance 253, Antichamber, West Gabel. The king is cleansed in the field of rushes. Cleansed is he who was cleansed in the field of rushes. Cleansed is he, Ra, in the field of rushes. Cleansed is he who was cleansed in the field of rushes. Cleansed is this Unaz in the field of rushes. Hand of Unaz and hand of Ra. O Nut, take his hand. O Shu, lift him up. Utterance 263, Antichamber South Wall. The king crosses over the eastern sky. The king crosses over to the eastern sky. The sky's reed floats are large for Ra, that he may cross onto them to the light land. The sky's reed floats are launched for Harukahoti. The Harukahoti may cross on them to Ra. The sky's reed floats are launched for Unaz, that it may cross onto them to light land to Ra. The sky's reed floats are launched for Unaz, that it may cross on them to Harukahoti to Ra. It is well with Unaz and his Ka. Unaz shall live with his Ka. His panther skin is on him, his staff in his arm, his scepter in his hand. He subjects to himself those who have gone there. They bring him those four elder spirits, the chiefs of the Sidelock wearers who stand on the eastern side of the sky leaning on their staffs, that they may tell this Unas's good name to Ra, announce this Unas to Neheb Ka'u, and greet the entry of this Unas. Flooded are the fields of rushes, that Unas may cross on the winding water. 
Buried is this Unaz to the eastern side of light land. Buried is this Unaz to the eastern side of sky. His sister is Sirius, his offspring the dawn. Utterance 270, Antechamber South Wall. Awake in peace, you of back turned face in peace, you who looks backward in peace. Sky's ferryman in peace, Newt's ferryman in peace. Ferryman of gods in peace. Unas has come to you that you may ferry him in this boat in which you ferry the gods. Unas has come to his side as a god comes to his side. Unas has come to his shore as a god comes to his shore. No one alive accuses Unas. No dead accuses Unas. No goose accuses Unas. No ox accuses Unas. If you fail to ferry Unas, he will leap and sit on the wing of Tehuti. Then he will ferry Unas to that side. <laughs>